ostensible democratic nations, the United States and Iraq, you have two polities, democratic majorities, that want the U.S. to move towards withdrawal, and yet there's there's been no movement towards withdrawal. What you see in this country is a lot of frustration, and now what we're seeing in Iraq among Iraqi politicians and the Iraqi populace is a lot of frustration. The problem for John McCain and George Bush is this. They have defined leaving as losing. Therefore, ergo, we cannot ever leave. It's always tomorrow or some, some time on the horizon that we have to leave. And at a certain point, it starts to feel like waiting for Godot. You know, no matter what they say, right, the stage directions keep saying they do not move. Well, people want them to move, both in Iraq and the U.S. That's why, uh, until the term was used last week, there had never been in physics anything identified as a time horizon because it's, it's actually physically impossible. But yeah, all right, let, 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 take, take it away from physics. Explain this political element to me. How can the surge be a success, as John McCain claims and is adamant about? If you saw him on the Today Show, he repeated it as if by saying it that many times, everything else that had happened in the last few days would go away. How can the surge be a success if U.S. troops still can't start withdrawing, which was the original purpose, even as laid out by President Bush, of the surge. Yeah, that, that, 